Why hello there, hey all, what's up YouTube, this is Orb and welcome back to episode 2 of my aiming series for Counter-Strike 1.6. If you missed the first episode, you will find an annotation somewhere on your screen, it will open in a new window, so if you want to go and watch that first, I would recommend you to do so. But yeah, we're talking about shootouts, we are talking about 1v1s, and this is a very niched game style. So yeah, this is where two players go head to head with each other, and they try to outclass one another, and disregard, you know, teamwork and all the team based stuff for a while and only look at the individual skill of a player. And to some this is the greatest way to show real skill whilst others think it's yeah pretty much foolish. And I personally play it because it's fun and I don't think that it showcases the full potential of a player. But yeah, I play it because it's fun. And shootouts are not for everyone and to some of you the tips I'm about to share, it's it's obvious. It's obvious knowledge and obvious information. But I'm doing this video series by popular demand because I've gotten so many requests for people uh, wanting to know my secret, air quotes. There is no real secret, there's just general things you need to think about. And that is exactly what we're going to talk about today. General tips and info. And in my own eyes, I've had quite the success in the 1v1 scene, and I feel that I can contribute with some of the things that has helped me as a player uh, improve. So, some of this has helped me become a greater player in a variety of other games as well. So, definitely, it has definitely been a part of my success, and hopefully, they can also help you out, whether you're a competitive or a casual player. So, let's start with going over some basics. So, the first point I want to talk about is the fact that aim is very random, so a lot of luck is involved in shootouts. You know, getting that perfect wall bang, or placing a nice pre-fire, or just simply getting a twitch headshot to win the round or win the match. And I want to stress the fact that winning or losing one game does not determine who the better player is. So, you know, there are several factors that come into play in deciding this, so do have in mind, don't get too upset if you happen to lose one round or one game. The second point I want to talk about is perfect aim is not needed. So yeah, you don't need to have the most perfect aim to be successful on aim apps. You know, game mentality, reading your opponents, sound whoring, movement, spawn killing, pre-firing, and um, what else? Yeah, standing in tactical angles and positions will also help you out. You don't need the utmost perfect aim. As long as you have a decent aim so you can actually control the gun battles, you will do okay. So going over to the third point, we're gonna talk about the key to success, and that is your game mentality. I mentioned game mentality earlier in the previous one, and this is very, very important. People always ask me, Orb, how can you beat pros to get paid money to do what they do? The answer is so simple. They are just like you and me. They play under the same circumstances as you and me. We start with the same available weapons, same amount of health, and the map is assigned, so both players have the same advantages. And of course, exception to some maps, but most of the time in 1v1s and shootouts, you're gonna have the same advantages, okay? So self-confidence is your key to winning a match, and never, under any circumstances, should you fear your opponent. As soon as you start thinking, oh, he's better than me, I need to play more defensive, or if you don't even think about playing more defensive, you just acknowledge that, okay, he's a much, much better player than me, your game style is gonna change. Whether you believe it or not, whether you think about it or not, rather, your, your game style is gonna change. So think about that, never, under no circumstances, should you fear your opponent. So, talking about playstyle, we're gonna switch over to our fourth point, and that is regarding switching up your playstyle. And it can always be a good thing to switch up your playstyle. So, to go from playing overly aggressive a few rounds to actually doing a complete 180 and playing defensive the upcoming rounds. And yeah, this will make it harder for your opponent to read you. So, if things aren't going your way, don't be discouraged. Always try and test new things out that might work out. And uh, yeah, every opponent is different, meaning you can can't play with the same strategy and the same playstyle versus everyone. If you're being overly aggressive, try and slow it down and uh, perhaps you're playing way too defensive, uh, only taking angles. Then try and push forward a bit, try and take the control of the match and actually switching up to a more aggressive playstyle. And yeah, never fear trying new things. That is the key word here, or the key sentence if you will. Never fear trying new things. 
So moving over to point number five, we're gonna discuss low health. And my point of view is don't be concerned about low health. So this will automatically result in a very passive and def defensive playstyle. And this, of course, will in return just make your opponent start spamming your boxes, resulting in you dying anyway. So stick with your game plan. Don't focus too much about your health and try and make the most of it. You can't really do much with 20 HP, but try and make the most of it. Don't just go to a very, very defensive playstyle. So the last and final point I want to talk about is controlling your temper and controlling your anger. And this is one of those points that sound very obvious but few people actually pay attention to. Being able to get to your opponent is something that is very very valuable in any competitive play out there. So being able to also defend yourself from your opponent's trash talk is something that is even more important. So. Don't let it get to you. I know several people who have great mindset, they have great skill, but they lose because they get too upset over something that doesn't really matter. So, during one of my matches versus a professional player, Get Right, currently playing for Team SK Gaming, I used Light to trash talk in my favor, and this threw him off his game, and I ended up winning the game comfortably. And since then, I don't do a lot of trash talk. I think it's it's a, it's a bit douchey. But the thing to note here and uh, the thing to focus on is don't let your opponent's trash talk get to you. So frustration and anger will most likely cause you to play worse. So yeah, guys, that was everything I had to say for episode 2 of my aiming series for Counter-Strike 1.6. Be sure to hit that like button if you like it. And if you love it, uh, hit that favorite or add it to your favorites rather. And that will be it. So put your comments in the comments below. Read the description and that will be everything. So have an awesome day. I'm out. Bye.